three life sentences for a federal crack cocaine conviction in 1993 is working to reclaim his life after his release this month. Clarence Aaron spoke to family and friends gathered at LaFleur High School today. Fox 10 News was there. Yo, Clarence Aaron is in the building. What up, Snoop? Three-year-old Clarence Aaron was greeted by hugs and applause from family and others at LaFleur High School today. Aaron graduated from school in the 80s. He was attending college in Louisiana when he was arrested for his role in a federal drug case. Every day I wake up and I work towards this day here. Aaron's co-defendants got reduced sentences after they told authorities Aaron was the one responsible for the drugs. But what Aaron had done was introduce his friends in Alabama with friends in Louisiana. It cost him half of his life behind bars. The sentence don't define who the person is. Over a course of time, being consistent, that shows who you are as a man or as a female. President Obama pardoned Aaron's sentence in December 2013. His official release date was April 17th. Aaron was emotional as he thanked all those who helped to work for his release. One person who was there to greet him knows more about what he's been through than anyone because she's experienced it too. Dorothy Gaines was pardoned from a 20-year sentence by President Clinton in 2000. I left a 9-year-old son, 11-year-old daughter, and a 19-year-old daughter and, uh, for seven years. And when I came back, their whole life was told to turn up, and they have not gotten over that yet. Aaron is back in his old school with his old schoolmates for the first time in more than two decades, and he says he's ready to move forward with his life. And he says he hopes he can help others. I want to work with the kids because I feel that our age group between the 18 and 26 years, that's the most impressionable years in our lives. I caught my case when I was 23 years old. I think we need more mentors, more fathers in the home. When President Obama commuted Aaron's sentence along with eight other cases, he pointed out what he calls unfair sentencing guidelines. Typically, crack cocaine convictions earn much higher sentences than convictions involving powder cocaine. Supporters of the current standard point out the highly addictive nature of crack, but critics say uh, the guidelines seem to be a deliberate effort to wage harsher punishments on minorities and the poor.